This next piece is what's taken me the longest, I think, of so far of getting this pro project going here, is is the uh, actual retracks. Um, I think about I thought about using the free wing retract system for the F16 for their 90 millimeter version, but I didn't like the plastic parts and all that stuff. You have a hard landing, it might you know, break away in the middle there, and then you have to redo all the whole thing. So I wanted all metal retracts. So I come up with this. Uh, I'm just going to use the E-Flight um, 2546 retract, and what I did here to make it look like uh, the F-16 retract, more so with a with a two arm coming off the axle or whatever. Um, I just simply have a E-Flight uh, axle here, and then put the axle through this strut toward the front and then take another retract axle which slides onto that axle and come out for the actual axis so it's gonna go like such let's see this is actually so so if you're looking at this from the front it's going to come down and then this piece here is going to be my other part that kind of goes like this to give you an angle view of like that uh, from the front so it looks like the two arm coming off the axle for the F-16. So I was having a hard time in getting the angles right, just right on this, so I had to uh, plan it all out here in Photoshop, I did. Um, so I'm gonna have a, uh, the retracts mounted to a, a piece of, you know, two pieces of wood going on the, on the retract to mount these. So this is going to have to be within two inches, I'm, I'm guessing. So I went ahead and made some wood bulkheads for between these struts to hold the struts. So this is what I come up with, and I'm, I'm so these will be spread out about two inches, and then the wood will go from between here, and then I'll be able to mount the my retracts to these two pieces of wood that go in here. Now the trick was to get this so these uh, so these retracts will, will mount in here but the problem is like, they can't be straight you know they have to have that perfect angle so they can fit up in there and come together and otherwise they'll hit the the wheels will hit the fuselage so so it actually has to uh, So it actually has, these have to actually pinch in a little bit and then also pinch up a little bit. So I'm hoping that I have the angles right so this will work for me. Um, so it's just a matter of taking these, these mounting portions and then uh, moving them in a little bit and up a little bit so these, this, these pieces of wood will have the correct angle so when I mount the retracts to it I get that little pinch in and tuck in a little bit just right. So with that being said now I have to go and take my fuselage and and, and cut it apart and and cut out the section where I can put these wood bulkheads in. So that's the next step. So here's the part of my fuselage where I'm going to need to cut out to put bulkheads, these wood bulkheads in. So I have marked here, this is number 41, so I'm actually going to be cutting this here at, at section 42. So this is 42 and this is 40. So I'm going to have to cut this fuselage hot wire this right down these two bulkheads and, and uh, these will get glued inside there and while I'm at that I've got figured out to where how far my retract and my gear doors will come so I'm gonna cut these out and then I'll cut the doors out the same after I cut this fuselage in half it'll be easy to use the hot wire just go down and cut cut out the doors for the front and then once I get this uh, that part figured out, I'll cut out the front gear door. 
All right, so to cut my fuselage in sections to get a nice perfect straight cut, I'm going to need some cardboard strips to pin to the fuselage so the hot wire will follow as a guide. So I'm just going to go and uh, say I'll cut some one inch sections or one and a half inch sections here. Straight edge. I need to pin this on to where my cut's going to be. It's going to be on this bulkhead here. So let's see how this is going to work out here. Is it long enough? Yes, it is. So. So I'll just pin this down. And that's where the hot wire is going to follow that, follow that cardboard line there. And of course I'll have to pin this down on the, all sides and then the hot wire will just follow that guide. Now, the hot wire will follow this cardboard guide on both sides, hopefully. If I do it right. Okay, let's get the hot wire set up. Okay, so here we go. We're going to cut this now. So we're going to run it right along the cardboard edge. Okay, so no, looks pretty darn good to me. Pretty good straight cut. It'll be good enough. Okay, and then that will get glued onto there. Just want to see how it fits. Looks like it'll be pretty good. Alright, now to cut the other end, so this is where my gear doors will be. So I'm going to cut the fuselage over here for the other bulkhead on the far side. So I'm going to turn this voltage up a little bit. So I get a little more power out of this. Okay, here we go. Now, for my gear doors, I can just hold this go upright like this, and I'll be able to cut straight through and get a nice cut on both sides here and cut up my gear door section. All right, so I have my gear doors all lined up here, the cut lines. So I'm going to cut here, 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 and here, and it's just going to be cut straight straight up and down and just follow this cardboard guide as a guide and that should give me a nice good straight clean cut through so here it goes so 
this middle piece I will be using that will be supported in by two pieces of wood on each side so I need to save that okay okay that's all there is to it now I have gear doors holes cut out now of course these will be thinner than this the gear doors will actually be thinner than this so it can reduce some weight but that's pretty much where my gear doors will go for the main retra main retracts cut that section off and I proceeded to cut this section off which left me with this and then I cut the gear doors off, out, and then I had to proceed and cut this section off into two sections. This side, I'll put this aside. So then I have my scroll saw. I, I took my scroll saw and I made these two bulkheads, which are going to hold, going to be about two inches apart. And that's where the retracts will get mounted, right in here. So now I have to glue these in to the foam sections. So I will have this section gets glued in here like such. Then this piece will get glued on. And then the next section here will get glued on. I guess still gotta shave some out here so this will fit flush. And that's where my retracts will get mounted. And then this section gets glued on. Again, I gotta shave some off here to fit that in. And then I have this piece, which will go in here. And this simply is the front end of the bay door. And I have these two pieces of wood which will go through to the front here. And then this little section here is going to actually hold my servo mounts for my gear doors for the main gear that's where I am um, so now I just have to trim these sections off and then I'll glue all this together and we'll see how that goes so oh and then I got to route a little notch in here for the servos for the gear door so that I can, I can feed those right up in through this little hole here before I glue that together that makes it easy to change the servo in and out. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like when it's done, except for the actual pieces of wood in here that mount the retract. So there will be uh, two pieces here, so the retract will get mounted to, and they will only be two and a half inches long. And then the retracts will mount to those. And I have these strips which will come up in through here to support all that together. Two strips here and then the foam will be glued in between there. And then you have your bay doors. So now I'm getting ready to glue it all together. So here we go.
Got to uh, jump out my hole here for my wires and also put holes in these.